and he met a very nice girlfriend, and he's in love. Oh, what's your pick? Wish I could. I, I went old school, used a film camera, and the one roll I took of her fell into the Grand Canyon. You don't have a single photo of her? Uh, well, just this blurry one on my phone. Oh, oh let's see. Aww. Oh, look at her. <laughs> yeah, you can't really make her out, but it captures her wild spirit. Yes. <laughs> is it me or is Manny dating Bigfoot? Yeah. <laughs> Let me tell you the difference between Manny's girlfriend and Bigfoot. Bigfoot could be real. She's not a fake girlfriend. You want to hear the kicker? She's from Canada. Oh, oh no! Yikes! Oh, stop it! Back me up, boys. You know what, Gloria, Canada is good for a lot of things, but their number one export is fake girlfriends. Yeah, it's kind of a thing. Uh, before Cam and I came out, we each had Canadian girlfriends. So what are you saying now, that Manny's gay? We weren't, but he does check a few of the boxes. Come on, look at him. He's as straight as the swim from Cartagena to Houston. The trip was amazing. I did the cheekiest thing. I saw Oklahoma and Oklahoma, Chicago and Chicago, and then I got in a little trouble in River City. Mm. Okay, that's the gayest thing I've ever heard, and I shampooed dogs in West Hollywood. He's had so many girlfriends. The last one was a woman in her 20s. Yeah, but didn't you say he was so sweet when she stayed over, he offered to sleep on the couch? So what? My first boyfriend at his age, he wasn't ready to sleep with me. Mm -hmm. And what does he do now? He runs a very nice bed and breakfast. With? With his good friend Steven. Shut up! There you are. We haven't had a chance to talk about anything since you got back. So tell me about this new Canadian girlfriend. Well, she's brilliant but humble, beautiful but accessible, one of the funniest people I've ever met, but also deeply serious. Ah, oh, such lovely general terms. But she sounds a little bit too good to be true. What is her name? It's Sherry Shaker. Sherry, Shaker, those are the two things that are in front of you at this bar. Huh, delightful. Manny, is there anything that you need to tell me? Maybe some kind of sexual thing? Um, I really don't want to talk about this. Okay, Papi, but you know I love you and that you can be honest with me about anything, right? In that case, this is a lot. I'm pretty desensitized to it, but I saw Luke walk into a wall. Uh, hey, you all heard that whole conversation, right? Of course, yeah. yeah. So, Phil, if Claire kissed someone very early into the relationship, should she have told you? Of course. No way. What? Did you kiss someone? See? Secrets. Tearing them apart. Me, Chen Kang, I just want you to know that I support your lifestyle and I find it very charming when your people act very emotional and inappropriate in public. Okay, so I'm getting no help from this room. I'm sorry, but kissing someone outside of a relationship is a big deal and Thank you should you. fess up right away. You Thank told you. them? Yes, yes, they told us everything and I can't believe you did that. Well, I'm sorry, but Dylan was a huge part of my you life. You kissed Dylan? That's your secret? <gasps> you tricked me! What are you doing? You are dating a world-renowned scientist. I mean, isn't Dylan still married and still an idiot? Hey, he is not still married. And he's getting his life together. He's in nursing school. Good for him. I love Dylan. Honey, she's dating Arvin. We love Arvin now. And wouldn't it be wonderful if someone called Dylan loved someone called Arvin? No one in this room will have a problem with it. Am I wrong, or is your mom trying to get Alex to come out of the closet? Oh, God, it's Arvin calling. Quick, a show of hands. Who thinks I have to tell him? One, two, three, four. Four out of nine, a freaking tie? Sherry and I, we joined our... We crossed that beauteous threshold into the physical expression of love. Have you ever heard a straight guy describe sex that way? That's what he meant? Why does that feel worse to me? Hey, Alex, you're the last virgin. <laughs> Please. I'm dating a fireman. I'm having hotter sex than... Hey, Dad, can we go? Are we waiting for Kate? Or... Is it a birthday? Should I make a toast? To no! no. Oh, All right! It's come to my attention through a series of assumptions, old emails, and lazy sheep-like thinking that we may have gathered for no reason. Oh, so, uh -huh. it's not my welcome home party? Of course No, nope. Your mother thought Alex won an award. She didn't, and the dry spell continues. <laughs> Please, the last thing I'm having is a dry spell. 